Hey guys, you broke your peers and welcome back to my FIFA 17 a little pool cutting mod. Where the last time I left off. Chelsea and Palace they, they did it again. They dropped points again. I, I don't I really don't know what to say. I don't know what to say because it's it's kind of mind blowingly stupid. But hey, what can you do? But uh one thing I can do is get into today's episode, which will be purely cup games. It's the first cup, FA Cup game of season two, as long as well as the first leg against Manchester City in the semi-final of the Capital One Cup. Will be uh, on tap as well, I think. So that'll be good. Hopefully, I can get a nice big victory in the first league to uh, end with the second leg unnecessary. Well, not unnecessary, but uh, I can sim it no problem. There's always a buzz when players come into this competition, and there's a buzz around this ground too. You can focus on league games again for a while. I was in that after I beat Chesterfield. Another FA Cup game at the end of this month or the start of February will uh, pop up. Really, a free? How's that? No, free kick. Bet that's gonna be. Oh yeah, of course that's a free game. Screw you. No, oh, my luck, that's probably going to be a uh, card as well. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Well, he clears the danger. Hmm. Yep. Having played the advantage, he's now going back to deal with the infringement that he could have blown for. Yeah, man. And the offender's going to get a yellow card. Yeah, I wonder whether he... Calabria. I was allowed to go on, but no, he sees yellow. So, uh, they're really early, you know, card for the uh, right back. So, uh, gotta be careful if uh, Chesterfield Gandhi attacks on the right hand side. We're in the middle of the field because that's where the foul took place. They cope with it well defensively. Strongly, he has been booked. Remember, another foul. I'll take the throw, or I won't. Oh, don't give me that bullshit. Possession in the midfield area. I'll be really pissed off if it, like, gives me a second yellow card for for non-challenge and foul. Bullshit that the game deems a foul because it does that sometimes. It'll give you a yellow card for me. Nonsense. Like something like that might end up giving you a yellow card. Mitchell. Come on. Got the ball away from him with the tackle. Yeah. They're not easy on the eyes, but in the end, pretty easy to lay down to give him the credit, Archester Field. He's got to it, and he's played. Did, did he really think that was going to go in? Ryan saw his names in fucking shining lights. Working away. Can't put them in front. And Three, one, nil. There we go. Oh, it was only a matter of time, to be honest. And the keeper clawing at thin air there. He had no chance. And the first FA Cup up goal, all for me. He this season is scored by Divock Origi. 
who uh, missed every single well, FA Cup game last season because of his injury. So, uh, this is first goal in the whole career mode in the competition. See what that brings. Well, if it continues in this vein, you wouldn't be surprised if that's the winning, the only goal of this match. Oh, just worried about the rain. That is a free kick. Oh, come off it. It's referee. Can you give a yellow card for that as well? Well, nothing's coming up, so I'm assuming he just gave Bruja talking to. Which probably means if I uh, are deemed to foul again with Gruj, it'll be a yellow. Unless it's a red card offense. for Liverpool can now could be a booking here referee we gonna see any action from you are you, are you limited to just blowing for the whistle or when it's a free kick in my favor because I know he's not dishing out warnings and yellow cards it's to Chesterfield's players Good forward play from them. Some bullshit. Well, the referee is sick. There's a half time whistle. 1 0 with the break. Let's quickly see. Manchester United are winning. Chelsea are drawing. And Arsenal are winning. So only Chelsea of the, uh, I didn't look for Manchester City, I completely forgot about them. I was looking for, you know, the recognizable big name teams. I also forgot to look for Spurs. Emirates FA Cup tie. Yeah, the first half wasn't bad. Hoping for more of the same here. Origi, 2-0. Well, straight after the break. Hey, Debo He is seemingly on a mission. Is worthy of celebration when you get to it is special and he is feeling that special delight at the moment in game injury took him out of, of FA Cup action in last season and he is desperate to make up for lost time him it would seem Restarting at 2-0. Goal for Liverpool, number 27, Diva Comes in with a tackle. A wonderful occasion to come, a great game I'm sure. There's a confirmation of the uh, next game. In the uh, home game against Manchester City. First I have to concede a stupid goal. Oh, through bullshit. That's an own goal. Well, I don't know where this dick is. It's definitely an own goal. It is. You'd like to try and defend him, but he just didn't make up. Ah, oh, I mean. They're falling over each other. For, for, for fuck's sake. Today is not Cavalieri, uh, Cavalieri's day. Well, in a, good position here. a yellow card and now an own goal. Substitution now for the home team. And he heads it for Origi! Oh, that was almost similar to a goal I scored earlier in Ultimate Team. I mean, it was an absolute beauty of header. Probably the best header I've ever scored. Uh, I would have uh, given it for a run for its money out of Regan's court there. 
That would have been a hat trick goal. Free kick awarded against Liverpool. Well, they're still trailing and they need to do something now if they want to get back into this game. Yeah, you know, not anymore. For this game. Here comes the challenge. Go on, Ragnar. Free. He's going to pay. He's the most players. Easy here for the oh, and the keeper gets there before my player. That'll be a free kick. Let's uh, change it up a bit. More players. He can play on the right. So uh, he can come on for Feor. And you can switch him and Ojo. And I'm gonna bring Kabuki's uh, miserable day to an end by uh, bringing on John and Flanagan. For what might end up being his uh, last appearance in a Liverpool shirt in game. New player on. Well, the tackle there has led to a throw. It's been a free-flowing performance from a, a forward who, if you give him any space, and he's had the space today, he's going to punish you as a defender, and he's dominated the defenders who've tried to stop him today. Flying again. Now he's got plenty of skill, but you've got to ally that. He's up a goal, yes he can! John Flanagan, only just on the pitch, sets up an, a goal for someone else who's just on the pitch, Moya. Uh, the substitutes, two of the substitutes combined, and it's 3 1. It almost said 3 0, it should be 3 0, but that own goal was the, the such bullshit. Francesco Moya scores his first goal in the FA Cup. Oh. Oh. Yes, this is our first game in the FA Cup. Got the tackle in. Just over quarter of an hour left on my watch. It's not his first goal of the season. I think he already has a handful of uh, Premier League goals off the bench. Great tackling technique to win the ball cleanly. Oh, great. Hey, Paul. Paul from Moya. Oh, I know he is maybe the keeper. Her. But he wins the corner, though. In any phases in the game where he is celebrating like he's freaking won something. That's still... I was going to say he won, but that would be incorrect because Emre Moore headers it in to make it 4-1. And Chesterfield well, can, can say, yeah, we did score a goal against Liverpool, but a little good it did hit us because we still, in the end, have lost 4-1, and that's at least, but uh, that goal 100% ensures that they have no means of comeback. Almost done now, 4-1, time ticking away, so we can think about what this might mean for their next game. Well, Liverpool go up against Manchester City. And they've done pretty well out here. I'll be pleased if they win it. And here's the shot. Hey. Credit to the character of the players. They haven't given up. Comes in strongly. Mark Clavin completely... He flattened that dude. <laughs> he isn't getting up. Who has called a halt? Well, injuries are part of the game, and that's why the substitutes. It's going to have to be uh, substituted. I'm sure this guy is bursting to make an impact. 
the, the ball back to us uh, actually went to Ragnar Clavin. They love to play on the break. He's looking for the cross. Origi! Oh, my, I missed! I was just about to say the ball falls from Moya. But I ended up taking it first time. So, a uh, five goal game. All the goals came from Liverpool players. Uh, it was in five now. Oh wow, Chelsea didn't beat MK Dons, it stayed at 1-1, which means Chelsea must go to an, a replay, albeit at a... Manchester United, three. At a, at the bridge. Brentford, three. Uh, you are very welcome, David. Brighton and Hove Albion, nil. Aston Villa, three. Chesterfield, one. Liverpool, four. Coventry City, two. Cardiff City, 1. Fulham, 2. Blackburn Rovers, 1. Gillingham, 0. Bristol City, 1. Hull City, One day. He, he and Bobby. He upped that stamina. Huh. Stoke City, 0. Uh, so you're not so tired all the freaking time. Manchester City, 3. Fleetwood Town, 0. Milton Keynes Dons, one. Chelsea, one. Tournament prize money, that's the FA Cup. I've actually got an offer for Firmino. 45 million from Barcelona. Nope. Bigger roll. It's a bigger roll they both want. Um, a sporadic first in player? Maybe give him. You know what? I can give him 15k. I have no shortage of wages to hand out. That is for damn sure. Or, or I'm not going to be stuck. For sure. Um, sporadic. Again. Let's give him double what he wants, just absolutely short. So yeah, he's going to be happy. Again, no issue with what he did whatsoever. But yeah, it only comes up when it tells me I, uh, it knows who I have. Okay, so it didn't pop up for uh, this month. Or it didn't pop up at all. I guess it... I th hmm. I thought that only pops up when it knows who I've uh, got in the next round. I guess some of the uh, replays must still happen, of course. But hey, <laughs> I was not expecting that. Uh, but uh, hey, fantastic. You know, give me that extra option in center defense because Ragnar Clavin, as good as he is, he won't be around for forever. And this Vahalejo guy, he uh, has a high hypertension. A lot of people seem to be expecting a lot from him. No, no pressure. <laughs> uh. Sporadic, same as uh, what he's on and uh, what he's uh, classed at is with Real Madrid. Something else on there? I don't understand why he, it seems, those press conference things only seem to pop up when the freaking, when I, and, it is, the, the, uh, thing. Anyone else knows that they are? Always pop up when you've exited the uh, your emails. It's a bit annoying. Um, 
Okay, hello Joe. Don't have someone else to go on that left hand side, do I? Because I want to play uh, Tex Alexander Arnold. And I want to change up my strike force. In fact, I want to wholesale change all changes, I should say. Change all. I'm not sure what the fuck that means. Uh, I have so many central midfielders. Maybe I should loan out a few. I think I can find uh, a go. Why not? Give him one last start as a Liverpool player. And. See, this is why I, I desperately need, need extra central defenders. Like, my only central defenders other than... Hmm. Hmm. Delorean and Clavin are my main center backs. Like, so, Delogio will help. I mean... Imagine Velojo right next to Elori, that would be a fantastic pairing, I think. Hopefully it will be anyway, I uh, wouldn't like to be disappointed, but uh, I'm not only uh, very good at spotting talent. Very rare that I, like, think of... I, you could, I could probably count how many bad signs I've made on one hand. And that's from all FIFAs. And I've had many jobs, so well, I've had a lot of signings. Anyhow, so getting to the uh, match, the other uh, semi final isn't on at the moment, or isn't on at the same time anyway. And it looks like, uh, Manchester City will be going with their full strength first team. I'd go with my full full strength first team, but uh, then my uh, subs and reserves and my backup players and my youth players and all pair players who aren't on that first team of dreams would uh, get upset. So this is why I like to rotate. Plus the cup games. Teams, I have so many of them in the next season, especially now with a European football in season, in season 2 onwards. Because I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have uh, European football again next season, without a doubt. And if somehow I fell away in the uh, league, I'm going to probably win the, league, in the uh, cup, so that would uh, automatically put me in it. Because what the hell not? Starts in goal. Nicolas Otamendi plays with Vincent Company in central defence. Ilkay Gundogan plays with Fernando in central midfield. Sergio Aguero is the sole striker. Well, it's quite an edge. Check out Sergio Aguero back defending. What is he doing? Oh wait, that wasn't Aguero. Oh, I'm getting confused. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, I fucking completely blanked that he changed his number. That was Gundogan. Or uh, Silky Ilky, as uh, he's better known to the uh, FIFA YouTube community. Oh, but Emery Moore, he doesn't have a, an interesting nickname. And if he did, it would be Golmish in Galore, or, or some shit like that. So, because. Dude knows how to score. Sorry, the kid knows how to score. No, seriously, he's younger than me. He, he. he scored too many better than that lately. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Nice little goal. Similar one to the uh, one Moya scored against uh, Chesterfield in the first game of the episode. So, uh, that's a thing. Carrying the ball forward, it's the Manchester City. Similar, it was <laughs> practically a carbon fucking copy of it. Not very good indeed, but the move has broken down. 
course, Emory Moore won the uh, secured the league title for me last season with his winner against Everton. Uh, uh, cut out by the defender. I mean, if it was, it's the kid is probably the youngest legend in the <laughs> or at least one of them, anyway. Poor touch. Now here on the attack is Aguero. Imagine if. Someone like uh, Ben Woodburn did that in real life. Liverpool, some. I've gotten to a position where we. We defeat one of our rivals and secure the league title. And someone. A uh, kid like a young Ben Woodburn. Scored the winner to secure that time. Going the win. Oh my god. <laughs> There, I I just know there would be a majority of the fans because we're we can we can all be a bit of it quick pick on the trigger or or with stuff like this but he might <laughs> the fans might be calling for his own to, to get his own statue who <laughs> would just don't rub it in of course it would probably depend on which rival we would win it against. I think that would only work like against an Everton. Mm. He's gonna get some stick today and he's gonna have to deal with it. Has a very a very slim chance of winning the to play the play in the future. I say very slim because less so in my lifetime, so I can't say that they have absolutely no chance because Two for him on the day. Well less so. See this again, this goal. Emery Moore with another beautiful finish. The kid can score. Uh, that is absolutely no question about it. Fernando. Going well to get to the uh, five goals I would like to be absolutely sure of the uh, it hasn't cleared the danger. Saw the goal and went for it. Semi-final. Liverpool. And he's headed it goalwards. Shay, what what were you expecting to do? I, I would actually like to know what he was expecting he was gonna do there. Good forward play from them. Alexander-Arnold! It's company and goes off for... Yeah. Corner. Shows off. Oh. Walker. Her. Inadvertently, he did not mean that, so... Inadvertently heads it into Butland's hands. And that is the end of the first half. Hello, Lou. Two now at the break. Three goals in the second half is what I need. At least, anyway. I won't say no to more. Well, they played in that first. The score! Terrific stop! And for another corner. And he banked it away. There's the ball in. Defender to it first. Oh, I thought. Well, uh, Moore was going to win the header there. Glory. Foul by Sterling. Oh, fuck off. And I'm not saying that's a Sterling for once. Once I'm saying that's a referee for the millionth time. Kyle Walker. Oh, of course! A yellow card! Oh my god, you cannot be serious. Are you paying attention? Where was the foul? You didn't even give a foul when Sterling fucking fouled me there five minutes ago. But you give a fucking yellow card for her. The slightest little, little nip at the heels. Was from Emery Moore. Oh, you absolute 
Ooh, 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 whore. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Here's the new nickname for all referees. Whore. And why whore? Because they're paid off their fucking pocket. Loaded with that Manchester City blue money. Well, the keeper wasn't... Bullshit. Aguero. Real life in FIFA. Whore. No. Forget the referee is a wanker. The referees are whores. The referees are whores. Chris. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Here's Emre Moore. There's good progress with this attack. This is how they love to play on the break. Moore! Penalty! No, of course not. I was probably classed as my fault. Well, was it? Silver comes in with a tackle. Moya, stray apartment. Ah. I'm gonna leave Emery uh, hmm, hmm, and I'm gonna bring on Feor instead of Shea Ojo. The goalkeeper. Mork can stay on to see if he can't complete his hat trick. Advantage for Liverpool, can they take Surprisingly he did see that there was a foul there by Kevin De Bruyne and Ragnar Clavin. Anybody let play go on because I had the ball. Hillary! Not the first anyone shooting the ball. Disappointed with that touch. Or loses it to Silky Oki. What could be dangerous? And we more. Origi! Yes! Get the ball! No, stop pointing at wherever the fuck you're pointing at. I, I, I really don't enjoy that celebration. Stop pointing and get the fucking ball. Well, we need to get two more goals. Oh, that's gonna be a yellow card, isn't it? Yep. Fuck off. Fuck right off, you whore. Fuck off, you whore. That's definitely gonna be a fucking title of this episode. The referees are whores. Now the countdown is to 10 minutes left. Go on. Go on, Feyor. I overran it. I was trying to get into a position where I could cut back and avoid the defender. But he was on me like a fucking rash. The city go on. Read the play well to intercept. The break is definitely on. And we're in more. Alexander Arnold, yes! That's four. We just need one more. Freaking race against the clock to get a five goal. It's turning out to be a Please. Well, they're holding their breath. Oh, come on. Stop it, you're or stop it. The ball has gone up to indicate three added minutes. Rigi. Moya. More, sorry. I almost said Moya. Uh, but he's gone off. Emery Moore. He's got I'm on the nose down on the bridge. El Malazalina! For fuck's sake, of course not. And that's where we're gonna be it. Probably not gonna get another attack. Nope. 4 0. Is that enough? Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure. English League Cup semi final first leg. Liverpool 4, Manchester City 0.
I mean, we'll find out in the next episode. For, for sure. Hey! An offer for the Wokerie. Just to take the fucking piss. It's, I actually have no intention of selling the Wokerie. Um, new blood in the team. Sorry, James, but you did want to leave. And this is a much better option. So, some new signings. I got fucked by a whore for a referee. He was bullshit. So, there's that. And in the next episode, well, probably not in the next episode, uh, I'll have a think about it. Over the next couple, between now and the next episode, where I'm gonna go with the um, option to. Sim the Manchester City game or play it. It's a tough decision, but one that I will uh, have to make. And uh, I'll do that between now and the next episode. Until then, thanks for watching. I'm um, enjoy. Smash the like button if you did subscribe if you're new. Until next time, I hope you all have a very nice day. Peace.